What's up guys, Don Matter here, and today we're gonna be reacting to another Ill Will Press Foamy the Squirrel video. So this one we've got words and phrases. Uh, so I don't know if he's gonna be complaining about phrases or what's gonna be going on here, but anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. These words will no longer be recognized by me. The <laughs> word fat, not fat as in F-A-T. I'm talking about the P-H-A-T spelling. Oh man, I I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that was like a really popular thing in like the early 2000s. Man, I remember Fat Farms, the shoes, and baby fats. Everyone used to wear them. Man. It's a stupid catchphrase developed by urban clothes marketers in order to build hardworking inner city kids out of their hard-earned cash. Also on the list, the word bling. What <laughs> fucking cock muncher came up with this shitty term to describe an expensive lifestyle? I don't care if it was added to the Oxford Dictionary, it's not a word to me. If you ever come across someone who uses the phrase bling bling to describe something, get the fuck away from that person. <laughs> it's an those... idiotic term you- It's funny, neither one of those are ever used anymore. It's like, bling, you'll hear used like ironically, but like fat, I don't think I've heard anyone use that word in, it's gotta be close to 20 years. Used by idiotic people not familiar with the word lavish. Also, any word that ends in isle. Snizzle, <laughs> nizzle. These are not words. This is baby talk for ghetto rats. <laughs> Bro, oh, there's gotta be people complaining about that in the comments. Uh... Yeah, I don't see anyone complain. Man, it's kind of funny because that those are still used, but that's just because Snoop Dogg is still somehow relevant. Certain phrases also bother me, like, sticks to your ribs. That's a meal that will stick to your ribs. Well, I'm not sure I want to eat that then. And how exactly does this meal bypass my digestive system completely before. and make its way to my ribs? If you can't answer that, don't use the phrase. This one is really annoying. Ma baby fada. You usually hear this from single welfare mothers in inner cities or married women who haven't come across the term husband in the dictionary yet. <laughs> I can understand if you're a single mother this and have a disdain for the father of your child because they ran out on you Baby or something daddy. like that, and therefore want to render him inconsequential through common euphemisms, disassociating the father from your life, but still recognizing him in some small way as the father of this poor bastard you brought into the world. If you're going to do this, say something like, the father of my baby, not my baby father. It makes you sound like a poorly schooled moron. And then you wonder why the baby father was beating you on a daily basis. <laughs> Seriously, this is all simple shit. Try to polish up the language a bit and remove some of these moronic thoughts brought about by a limited vocabulary. I'm done here. Go home. Man, I'm honestly surprised that there's nobody complaining about this one in the comments. Just because, like, that, uh... Uh... Man, but it's funny because like fashizzle and stuff like that is still used. Baby daddy's still used. Um, but yes, yeah, so many of these are like uh, either not used anymore or only used ironically. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that none of the comments are complaining about this because there was a lot of comments on the uh, the other one complaining about. Uh, Stuff that's like no longer socially acceptable to say. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.